It is time now for some great entertainment. If opera intrigues you, this is a show that you don't want to miss right here in Connecticut. The Connecticut Virtuosi Chamber Orchestra is performing Visi di Arte this weekend. Okay, so the show is described as a luminous one-woman tribute to a legendary opera diva. Mm. Here to tell us more is artistic director Adrian Sylvine. Adrian, welcome back. Thank you. Nice to see you. Likewise. Um, you were here a few months ago talking about the opera. Yes. How'd that go? It went very well, thank you. Very good, that very was good. Don Giovanni, I believe. Yes, yes, yes. Which is a total turn from what we're talking about today. A little bit. Yes. A little bit, yes. So this actually really sounds fascinating. Um, tell us a little bit about, uh, we're going to, there's a woman that this is a tribute to, Maria Callas. Yes. And she, I guess people might know if they followed opera, she's extremely famous. But uh, nice. tell us a little bit about this show and this really intriguing history of her. This year is the 100th anniversary of her birth. Okay. She was an incredible diva we say but an extraordinary art artist first of all mm -hmm. uh, she was a person who somehow managed to achieve artistically something that is close to perfection we, we don't say wow. we have perfection in art but mm -hmm. we have something very close to it she was so extraordinarily faithful uh, to her artistry to to the art of singing she brought an excitement and mm. the energy to something that in her own words was considered somewhat of a dead art because opera we really if we consider the old works uh, you know the composers are dead and uh, the, we repeat sometimes the same script the same score so she brought to life some roles and some works that Perhaps audience was a little bit tired of, but but she did it by the sheer force of her personality and, mm. and her dedication to the art form and her incredible artistic intensity that she carried through um, then somewhat to her private life, but but most importantly, really, in her artistic career. So this show is basically a dedication to her. What can what yes. can people who come out expect? Well, so these are. During her life, she also gave several interviews, mm -hmm. and these interviews are probably as famous as, as she is mm. because she managed to express uh, uh, very profound thoughts on art, on, on the preparation of the role, on all these things. So we used we used the text of the of of these interviews, and Euratus Fedaita, who is performing as a one-person show, as you mentioned. Uh, she's using these texts to express our admiration, but also to, mem to uh, bring back the memory of, of, of Maria Callas, of what he thought about the art, of what, how important the process was for her. And also her reflections on, on personal life that we mentioned in our conversation. Yes, she was, she, had, she was married to Onassis or with him before apparently he left her for Jackie Kennedy. There's all stuff going on, but yeah. it was very famous well, in her time. And yes. that's basically, I mean, the basis of opera is a lot of drama, right? Well, her life was definitely a dramatic life. Mm -hmm. What is worth mentioning is that uh, maybe like a year and a half ago, we received a grant from National Endowment for the Arts to do the We the People, the immigrant stories. And we are trying in the orchestra, we're trying to show these different aspects of immigrant stories. So this one is sort of double immigrant story because, or maybe even triple if you wish. Because not only uh, uh, Maria Callas first was born in the U.S., but then left for Greece. She grew up there, so that's one immigration. Mm -hmm. Then she came back, so that's a second immigration. And Eurata Svedaita is, is Lithuanian, and she came yeah. uh, to this country as an immigrant as well. So we've got drama, we've got divas, and we've yes, got we immigration. So thank yeah. you so much. I want to make sure people... Yeah, thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Yeah. Show is Sunday, October 15th at 3 p.m. at the Bushnell in Hartford. For more information or to get tickets, visit bushnell.org. Adrian, thank, thank you. you so much. It's my pleasure.